Your eyes blink, sir. You got a set, don't you? What? Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. That was a soul read. My eyes blinked? Pretty good. Do you know what soul reading is? Of course I know what soul reading is. It's when you look into a player's eyes. It's when you look into the depths of their soul. It's when you stare directly into pure, unmitigated, unadulterated, immutable Pass. truth. I'm doing it right now. So what am I thinking? You are not amused. You're good at this. Uh, enjoy <laughs> the top five soul reads from the big game. This should be a pretty easy fold for Phil. Jennifer doesn't have a super loose image. He's out of position, and he's got a hand that's easily dominated. But he's stacking chips. Oh man, this is close. I'm not raising. Thinking about calling, that's all. If he did call, he's probably facing best case scenario for a three bet. I guess it's not quite the time yet. Coach? <laughs> it's kind of an interesting hand though. I should. I should tell the world what I'm thinking, but not at the table. Phil Folds. Jen, there's 500 if you can show a three. She, she might have had ace rag. If I had her beat, Show a three I and I'll give you a three 500. I don't have a three. Oh, well. There you go, Phil. She might have had eights or nines or nine ten suited. I mean, that's those are the hands on her. Your king jack plays out of, well out of position. Soul read from the soul patch. Was I right with your king jack? I showed king jack, didn't I? I didn't say it, no. Oh, I didn't even show it? No, I just called it. Yeah, okay, that was a great read on your part. Yeah. Action will start on Scott since Daniel's straddling. Six trays suited. Daniel's straddling, but Scott looks like the sleeper. Raised to 3,100. Todd Brunson has an insta folded. I think we're either seeing the very bottom of Todd's range or the bear is coming out of the cave to feed. Raise. A raise to 10 grand. Aaron folds. Lexus out. So's Vanessa. <laughs> this is the first three bet we've seen from Todd. He's been playing extremely nitty. This would be a pretty loose call from Daniel. For some reason, he really likes this hand. Forget about a call. He's coming over the top to 28-8. How much did you throw out the hand with, Todd? Or do you have, like, orange chips or anything? Two. I can't say. Thank you. Scott insists on making Todd go through the motions. I doubt he's going to make a play with 6-3 suited. You have, like, 160? I don't know, man. Fair no enough. idea. Even though Daniel's got a playable hand, I'm going to say this is a four-bet bluff. It's tough to think that King-Queen would be good against both of these guys, especially against Todd's first three-bet. Scott folds. I wonder if Daniel picks something up on Todd. Re-raising with King-Queen seems very aggressive against the tightest player at the table. Todd knows Daniel's capable of just about anything. He seems hesitant to lay this one down. Todd's out. One of those sexy four bet bluffs. Yeah, yeah, four bet, yeah, four bet bluff. You can pick a card, either card. No, you can't, never mind. <laughs> Cold. Lex, king nine. Of course he raises. Bonomo folds, Barry's out. Hi, Cole. First time. I know. Nice defense. Got a really, really good hand this time. Ace 10 suited? Better, better. I don't believe. Nine, eight, ten. Daniel flops a straight. Is that Queen of Hearts? <laughs> He's also the godfather of soul reads. <laughs> so Daniel checked. Lex fired 2,200. Another ill-timed bet by Lex. This time he's leading into the nuts. And Daniel's got a redraw to the super nuts. Daniel re-pops to 6,600. Lex can't love his hand. Okay. But he calls anyway. Laboriously. Tray of spades on the turn. A lot of players would have slow played the nuts on the flop, but Daniel knows his opponent, and by raising, he's built a nice pot for himself here. Hoping he can squeeze another bet out of Lex. This time he leads out to 11-2. Doesn't work. Lex folds. 
What's the best possible hand you could have there? Queen Jack of Hearts. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> I had the Queen of Hearts. Liar. Bottommost pants are breaking fire code. <laughs> what a six six flop. Give him whatever he needed. It was the Queen Jack of Hearts? I had the Queen Jack of Hearts. Wow, and I called it on the flop. You didn't hear me. Oh, I, I heard you say it. Yeah, I did hear you say it. It's like, that's, shut up. That shows you you're supposed to keep your mouth shut. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the hand with which Phil Helmuth Jr. won the first of his 11 gold bracelets. That's 11, my friends. How many? One, one. One more than 10. You limping in this time, Phil? That's yep. Yeah. That's better. Now you're back to your normal game. <laughs> yeah, check limp fold. Limp miss fold, you know? Now you're back to your normal like sort of game. Better. Tony raises. Punish him, Tony G. Oh, just building the pot for him. Ike's got the best hand of them all with these two jokers in the pot in front of him. Pocket tens look like a monster in this spot. We could see action Haxton pull a little Carl Weathers here. Pot is eight, right? That's correct. Haxton re raises to 8,000. From that position, this raise looks very strong. He's raising two people who don't like folding to three bets, and he's out of position. Phil might think he's racing, but we know he's crushed. Phil? Folds. And Tony, too. I don't know why we waste the time, Phil. I had a big pair, that's why. Big pair, like kings. Is that a Next big two pair? Two nines I limped in with, so, you, so you'd do go crazy. Of course. I, I wasn't going to limp till I was strong, because I know two what you Two nines was probably the best hand. I felt like maybe he had tens or jacks. Nail meat head. <laughs> <laughs> pair of ladies for Isaac Haxton. Mike's thinking about a re-raise. Re-raise to 4,800. Damn. Ace king for Troy, this may be the hand for him. He calls, and Viffer folds. Troy's opted to see a flop rather than try to jam this pot. Chow folded an ace, so ace-king's a bit more of a dog than usual. Two to the flop. Carefully studying Isaac Haxton. Jack, queen, four, Haxton is flop top set. This is not the hand for Troy to start playing aggressively. He checks. Mike is new to the table. He's got the nuts trying to figure out the best way to get money out of Troy. Bet 6,800. Mike's hoping Troy's hand is big enough that he can call. Why do you look so nervous? Not the greatest of reads. If Ike's nervous, he's nervous you're going to fold. <laughs> if Troy's reading nerves and decides now it's time to take a stand, this could get pretty ugly for him. Your eyes blink, sir. You got a set, don't you? What? Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. That was a soul read. My eyes blinked? It's pretty good. Troy's going to get to write his own chapter in the next version of Caro's Book of Tells. 